Hi friends, welcome back to my channel today for our um, RT um, week. Nikki, Parr, and myself are doing for International Crafters. We are making the Mad Hatter's Hat. Um, a theme that we are doing is anything to do with a Mad Hatter tea party hat or whatever. And today I decided to make my Mad Hatter hat from a paper roll, towel roll. So I'm just making the ends for covering the top. I'm making my rim and I'm going from there just recycling some cardboard and paper rolls. So I'm trying to copy the design of the uh, Mad Hatter from the movie Alice in Wonderland from the one that Johnny Depp is in. I'm trying to copy his hat. So I made several slits down the paper towel roll to narrow out the bottom of the hat closest to the rim. And then I just used some hot glue to piece that together. Kind of, I wanted it to be a nice gradual, but also kind of even. And then I glue my top on with the hot glue and as well as I cut my hole um, in my bottom rim there kind of like a pizza cut you know how you cut across and then you flip them and glue them on and that's what I did with that As you can see here, I'm collaging some paper tissue. This is homemade paper tissue to my hat to have a nice black background. Also, I want the um, material or um, the texture that is a cloth or something like that look. So that's why I do that. you guys are enjoying this small mini series that Nikki and I are doing for the next I think it's been for seven days the series is till the 7th of March and we are on day four and that is the Mad Hatter's tea party hat 
And if you want to join in our future challenges and this challenge, just check us out on International Crafters. You guys could join if you are not a part of it already and just answer the questions on there so then we know that you are interested in crafting and we'll let you in. As I'm drawing this hat up, I also want to shape it. So here, this is where I'm using my pencil to shape the rim of the hat to get it that nice little curve that is on the Mad Hatter's hat in the movie. Here I was trying to put some texture on the hat and I would decide to go with paint. I could have done some hot glue or something too. I wasn't sure if this would work. It worked a little. Um, I just wanted to get a little bit of a thickness of paint so that when I do my gold later on, dry brush, that I get a little texture pick, picked up. Um, I don't know if it worked, but I did it anyways. Just you gotta learn and play and um, see how things work for you. So now it's time to take out the wire. I wanted to make the hat pins and I just take some wire and the gauge is very small. I don't know why I didn't look at the gauge and I'm hiding somewhere else to do my voiceover so then I could be in a quiet spot away from my craft supplies right now to read the gauge. But I used an appropriate size I think to um, <laughs> that suited the hat so something very small and uh, tried to make some faux um, hat pins. So I'm looking at my picture here, my reference picture, and I'm using some beads and I just dip my beads into the hot glue, or I'm sorry, the uh, wire into the hot glue, then my bead, and then I'm, that's my hat pins. Here I'm just grubbing up my hat pins a little bit, just making them look a little used and old. Not too much black, just a little bit and lots of water, just to get them a little grubbed up because their pins were super shiny and I wanted them to look like they've been on a hat for a while. I'm mixing my green trying to get the right green here and I'm just putting that all over my hat I wanted it to be green and gold and that is um, the colors that I think that it looks like the colors in the hat on the movie
So I'm super happy how it turned out. Now I'm just doing a dry brush of gold all over. I'm really, really super happy and I'm loving it. So that is the next part. And then I'm moving on. I'm really trying to duplicate the hat to as close as possible with all the supplies I have on hand. Nothing is bought for this or anything. It's just everything I have on hand. I wanted to see how I can push myself to make this little hat. So now I'm just making that 10-6 um, little number there. I can't remember what it was in the movie, the what it meant. But I'm just um, doing my edges with like a probably a brown suede or a chocolate Stampin' Up ink. And then I'm just roughing up my edges, curling them up with my pencil a little bit, gluing it on. Then I work on my little silk part that wraps around the hat. I don't know what that part's called. And I use my tea bags again, once again. And it's something from my little tea bag stash there. And I just glue that on layers by layers to make it look like um, cloth wrapped around. And I keep it, uh, I don't have to paint too much over it. I just add some copper paint to it after to get it to look like the kind of a coppery um, silk that he had on the movie. At this point, I'm putting my hat, little hat pins, mini hat pins on. I'm super happy with this project so far. Um, I couldn't think, I'm just making, using my craft knife to make a little slit and you can, can't even see it. And then I just push my hat pins in. After this, I just put a bunch of glue on the inside of the hat to hold the pins in the direction that I want them in. And that is it. I hope you guys try this out and check out Nikki Parr's link below because man, she's been doing awesome crafts as well and it's so fun that I get a partner to share this fun with and I hope you guys try our stuff out because it would be really cool to see it in the group or, or even just on your Facebooks or wherever you want to share it. I think it would be really cool. Here is that copper I was telling you about that I just put on the band. That's hat band. I think that's what it is. Um, I just snapped my fingers because I remembered hat band. <laughs>
last but not least, I made myself a little squiggly wire stamp, miniature stamp, because I was just there was missing something on the hat movie, the movie from the hat, the hat from the movie. Sorry, there was a little bit of lace over top or something on the material, and I was just missing that squiggly that I was trying to get on earlier with the. Um, stencil. Well, I just added that in the lighter green a little bit. It's not quite what the movie had. It doesn't have like the darker lighter green, but I thought I'd add that for detail. So I made myself a miniature little wire stamp and did that everywhere with a little bit of a lighter green and dabbed it off the excess green so it wasn't too bright. And that's my hat. I hope you guys enjoyed this project. And like I said, check out Nikki Parr down below because she's going to do something probably totally different, which will be really amazing. We don't really normally check out what we are doing or have. Like, we don't talk about what we're doing. We just do it, and then we're surprised at each other's works after. So hope you guys enjoyed this. Check out Nikki Parr, and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.